I also have a wonderful question here from, uh, I think it's Adeline, Adeline L. She also wasn't able to make it here today, but uh, Adeline L. Uh, asked something that I think is absolutely wonderful. Uh, Adeline writes, I'm going into seventh grade. Grammar is very important to me. Where should I start? Now, Adeline, I commend you for thinking that grammar is very important to you. Uh, which you, because that, I, if I can be candid, that's not the usual opinion. Um, and I think it's a wonderful opinion to hold because grammar is very important. Grammar is very important, not just for writers, but for anybody who wishes to speak with clarity and elegance and grace. So I, if I had my hat on, I would take my hat off to you. So I'll take a metaphorical hat off to you to salute you for your uh, interest in grammar. Where should I start? This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful question. Uh, and I know that you have signed up, for instance, for the cozy introduction to grammar and creativity, which is one excellent place to start. But if I can give you a more general sense of where to start, I would say to consider or to think of grammar as a kind of language. That when you're learning grammar, it's not just that you're learning some subject. You're actually learning a language with which to speak about language. You're learning uh, a vocabulary. And so the sort of core vocabulary that you'll be learning, the sort of the key place to start in learning the language of grammar is the parts of speech. These seemingly very simple things of nouns and verbs and adjectives and adverbs and prepositions and so on. Um, these uh, these tools, the sort of traditional eight parts of speech, are, are really the core of the language of grammar. So the best place to start is to become comfortable, to be conversant, to become fluent, if you will, in the language of, of grammar, starting with the, the eight parts of speech. And of course, the, the basic cozy grammar course and our free uh, cozy grammar game are, are geared toward developing that, that fluency in the language of grammar. Um, but along with that, along with the language of grammar, uh, one of the ways that I think grammar is poorly taught is when the language of grammar becomes sort of isolated and off on its own as if it didn't connect with, say, creativity or your daily life or anything else. Um, so along with learning the language of grammar, I would also urge you to explore how the language of grammar transforms or can shed a light on your experience of language in everyday life. Listening to people around you talk in your family, in your community, in, uh, in the different settings, the different contexts in which your life unfolds, uh, pay attention to how, how people express themselves. Ask yourself, are they using nouns or verbs or adjectives or adverbs? What do you notice about their language? What do you notice about the rhythms with which people speak? What do you notice about the things that people say or don't say? This is why one of the suggestions that I give very early on in both the cozy introduction to grammar and creativity, as well as the basic cozy grammar course itself, is to keep a notebook. Keep a little, a little notebook. It might be a fancy notebook. If you like a fancy notebook, it might be a very sort of tattered and rad, ragtag notebook. If you just want something you can you know, throw in a pocket or a bag and not worry about it getting smudged or rained on or whatever. And anytime you hear something interesting that somebody says, or anytime that you read something interesting in whatever books you may be reading or, or, or a newspaper or a billboard or anything, write it down. Because this is a way of, of sharpening your perception, of making that important connection between the seemingly small world of grammar and the wide, wide world of your own experience. Because our, our understanding of language and our understanding of grammar really is a way of, of connecting to the wider world, of describing this world to ourselves, of sharpening our perception and being able to see more than we could see before about this world. So those are my two key places for you to start. I encourage you to 
to, to start there. Um, and if you are curious, if you have more questions, uh, please feel free to write again uh, with more specific or even more general questions, and I'll do the best I can to answer them.